with Brenda and Alan. They are married and have two babies. They'll be the first to admit that things weren't easy for them in the beginning, and family members like Sue, Brenda's mom, weren't thrilled about the thought of an interracial family. But things have changed, huh? Yes. Tell us. Um, well, for me, it was kind of difficult because I wasn't sure to w what to expect from her mom. I mean, I knew her mom before because I used, her mom owned a jewelry store, and I used to go into a jewelry store and buy jewelry from her. But, you know, when I started dating her, it was kind of like still... You didn't know what to expect because if you go into a house and, you know... Yeah, it's then, a different thing when yeah, you're dating your daughter. Being the only black, you know, sitting around at the dinner table <laughs> and, you know, wondering, okay, everybody's looking at you. What do you say, you know? You don't know what to talk about, you know? What did you talk about? Well, I kind of let them <laughs> bring up the conversation-wise because, you know, I really didn't know I'll what to say. I'll bet you could feel the tension and cut it with a knife, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, Brenda, things have changed. What changed things? I think my mom just realized that there's nothing you can do. I mean, we're with who we're going to be with, you know. I mean, black, white, Mexican. You know, I mean, it doesn't make a difference. This is who we're going to be with. And if you love us, you need to understand that we're mature enough to love who we love. You know what I mean? There's just nothing you can do about it. You know? And we weren't lucky enough to see what was going on and what you guys were talking about, but, you know, for the people who have a problem with it, you have to be like a mature adult, you know, not like an adolescent, especially if there's children involved, because we were back there with all the babies and we got to see them, and, you know, it was sad listening to the people who were back there, and, you know, I'm really glad that my mom's over it, and we can be a happy family on both sides, because it was hard. For his it's family, like, too? Yeah, because yeah. it's like... Either I'm the only white person or he's the only black person, you know what I mean? And it, that's just awkward anywhere. Right. Well, let's meet your mom and see what she has to say. <laughs> Sue, come on out. Sure. Welcome, Sue. Nice to see you. So you, you are the changed person. You, okay. used to, you used to be just like the, the guests today, but you have changed, and you are now accepting of their relationship. Yes. How did you come to accept them? Well, when they let me know, they also let me know Brenda was pregnant. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and, and it was more the fact that I did want to stay part of her life. I didn't want to. I, I, was, I was afraid of not being a part of my grandchildren's life. I was afraid of losing my daughter. The option was to accept reality. Or say goodbye to your daughter. Or say goodbye. And I didn't, I raised them to be independent. I raised them to grow up and go on with life. And to make their own decisions. And make their own decisions. And, and here she what, did just what you raised her to yep, do. Yep, and, and how can I tell her she's wrong? And have you grown to love Alan? <laughs> There's times we love him more than her. <laughs> really? Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yes, ma'am. Come on, meet me halfway. Yes. Hi. Um, this panel got me very disgusted. The arrogance in this panel makes this world so corrupt as it is now. And you, honey child, reality check. Spanish men are beautiful. Anybody, black, white, Mexican, let me tell you, right? You need a reality check. Yes, ma'am. Now, now, here's someone who is in a biracial relationship. Yes. Yeah, um, I have a boyfriend. He's black. And, like, in the beginning, it was kind of hard with my family because my family is Puerto Rican. And I would think it's easier to stay in your culture or stay in your race because... You know, to you know, avoid people like you who are ignorant to the fact that people do date outside their race. I mean, it is it is easier because language and culture and you know ethnicity and all that stuff. But I think it's childish for um, the woman second from the left. I think it's childish, Sharon. I'm sorry. I think it's childish for you to just move your chair over and not sit next to your your brother-in-law. That's your family. No. So what? That is not my family. It I is. chose. You can't choose I'm their your family. My own life. I don't, don't, don't understand. But He's I don't understand how are you going to, to how are you going to deny your sister that's what you just say. because she's married to a black law. man? Oh wow! Prove it. I got a marriage license to prove it. Yeah. Whatever. Yes, ma'am. 
I don't understand how you could do that to your sister because I love my sister and I would never do that to my sister. No matter who she chooses, no matter what, I would never do that to my That's sister because I love opinion. my sister. Oh, you, you know what? I would never do that to my sister either. My sister's over there. Jennifer, I would never do that to you. I will accept whoever it is that you choose to. But Sharon, let me just. Could it be that you are you got your heels so so dug deep now? Could it be that you're embarrassed now to to, to turn around and accept this no, guy? There's no way you're gonna change your mind. No. no. Do you, do you understand what you're missing? I'm not missing anything. But what about? The fact that you and your sister used to be so close. We used to be, and then it stopped, and then I started living my own life. And you don't miss those days no. at all. All right, yes, Alan. I think it's just she's more selfish. It's like my sister was saying that she was selfish about me and Brenda. I think that she lost her sister when she started dating her boyfriend or her husband now. And so I it's think, not so much that he's black. It's the yeah, fact I don't that she think found it's more somebody. that he's black. I think that she just lost that that relationship with her sister. Okay, interracial dating and partnering.